What's up guys? Today what we're going to learn about is being able to move from our forehand grip to our backhand and vice versa. The reason why this is so important is because it's not only going to make you be able to break the mark easier, but it's also going to increase your accuracy in your throws. If I have it in my forehand grip and I'm going to move over to throw a backhand, how I do that effectively is I'm really going to snap the disc basically into the palm of my hand here, okay? So it's going to look like this motion. So this drill is something that you guys can work on pretty much throughout the day. Um, something that I told a lot of the freshmen when they come in is to carry a disc around with them around campus and, and get comfortable having the disc in your hand and, and this will definitely help do that. Alright, so once you're comfortable doing this motion vertically, I want you to practice it horizontally as if you were going to transfer over into a backhand. So get your offhand out in front of you and now I'm going to snap the disc basically into my left hand here. And I'm going to get comfortable doing this. All right, and I'm switching my forehand grip over to my backhand grip. The reason why I do this drill is because I believe that when you move the disc over from your forehand to backhand grip, that having two hands on the disc will increase your accuracy. So once it's snapped over into your backhand grip and you have your left hand on here, all you have to do now is step out and throw your backhand, okay? Now that I'm comfortable moving the disc over, into my left hand, into my backhand grip. The next step is to now move my right leg with my arm over here, okay? So you have it in your forehand grip, you throw it into your left hand, backhand grip, you step out with your right leg, and you go ahead and throw that backhand. All right, I'm gonna say it again. Putting that disc on your left hand, okay? Getting two hands on the disc is going to increase your accuracy, trust me, okay? I know a lot of you guys like to do this, and sometimes it looks pretty, throwing passes without putting your left hand on the disc, get your left hand on the disc, get an accurate throw, and throw that backhand. So now we're going to go into backhand grip, into our forehand grip, okay? What I want to do is I want to act like I'm throwing that backhand, and as I go, I'm holding on to it, and I'm releasing the disc with my bottom two fingers, my pinky and my, my ring finger, and now it's in my forehand grip. So again, you want to just keep doing this multiple times until you feel comfortable moving that backhand over into your forehand grip. So now that you're comfortable moving the disc from your backhand grip to your forehand grip, all you're going to do is now shift your body weight to the right hand side for your forehand. So it's over here on a backhand, I'm shifting my body weight to the right hand side, now it's in my forehand grip and I can go ahead and make that forehand pass. So a drill that you can do is simply just stand here in your forehand grip and move the disc from your forehand to your backhand, from your backhand to your forehand and you can go back and forth and you're trying to get as quick as you can, okay? If you see my left hand is really active here and it's allowing me to move back to my forehand grip quickly. And once you're comfortable kind of moving back and forth, you can kind of change it up. You can go forehand, short, you can go all the way over to your backhand and back to your forehand. Just mix it up and try to be as quick as you can to go and throw those passes. Help support Ultimate by liking and favoring my videos. Also, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.